A Dutch flight believed to be carrying Gambian deportees reportedly landed at the Banjul International Airport in the early hours of Thursday. The flight, according to sources, came from Germany and reportedly carried about 20 repatriated migrants. Many Gambians, both at home and abroad, raised concerns over the mass deportation the country, ex the country is experiencing under the Barolet administration. Our reporter Binta Jalo has more in this report. The airline operated by Corendo left Frankfurt at 11 p.m. on Wednesday, reaching Banjul by 2.30 a.m., according to iAfrica Aviation sources. This comes at a time when the country is battling with the COVID-19 pandemic. Many Gambians, both at home and abroad, raised concerns over the mass deportation. However, the Gambia government recently tried to keep its head above waters following the accusation that it has signed deals with the German government and other European countries that covers the deportation of African migrants from Europe. Yankuba Sonko, a member of many refugees associations and NGOs in Germany, said the deportation process has been going on since they lifted the moratorium when the current government took office. German, between German and Gambia government, there, there were a lot of individual deportations. When, uh, immediately when they lift up the moratorium, then uh, November, last year, November, um, German started the mass deportation which uh, was uh, uh, on the 18th of November, they deported 22 Gambians from uh, Germany to the Gambia. Again, they went further to, uh, to request another, dip, which I, we were aware of and we got all these facts. These are all what I am saying are based on facts, not fictions. Sonko went further to blame the government and accused them of playing games with Gambians. On, again, in December 22nd, German, this last December, German wanted to do another mass deportation, which they requested from the Gambia government. But remember, that was the time the president and the whole entire ministers were doing the meet the people's tour. You know, so due to that, the, we, we, we have this fact from our sources that uh, Gambia government rejected that uh, or delayed, play some tactics to delay that deportation of December because they give only an excuse that president was not in status. And again, the German government went further that they will, they still have their objective, that is to deport Gambians, you know, uh, um, Gambians asylum seekers here. So it means they, uh, they, there is a secrecy between them and Gambia government not to give such information till the, uh, the deportees arrive in Gambia. So we know from the, uh, from the deportees themselves, because we are in contact with them before, pre previous to their um, departure. Like in, when they are in deportation prisons, we are in I, I personally, as the PRO of Gambia Refugee Association, I'm in contact with most of these deportees in their individual prisons. So um, they inform us, like they can tell you in this prison there is um, this number of Gambians. So putting them together, we, 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 we get a figure of 25, but this is are not confirmed by the both authorities. Overall, Germany intends to deport at least 4,000 Gambians whose asylum claims were rejected. In the German region of baden württemberg alone, there are over 15,000 registered Gambian asylum seekers of whom at least 4,000 have been rejected. Reporting for Africa TV, Peter Jalo. The rate of deportation is skyrocketing as many more Gambian migrants are repatriated from Europe to the Gambia.